Today we're going to talk a little bit about a little bit more about the properties of logarithms. So right here you can see x is the base like we talked about in the last video and it's it's basically a logarithm with the base of x with a times b. Whenever you have a multiplication a times b there's a property of logarithms that you have to learn in order to be successful with logarithms and there are basically two steps. So if it's a log of x we you write log of x on both and then log of x over here but the a and the b split up a goes to this one over here and the b goes to this one over here and in this case with multiplication you add so if it's multiplication right here it, you add them together and this is known as expanding a logarithm Another way to expand the logarithm is if you have a division problem. So in this case, we have we again it's two steps. We have the base, which is the log of x is the base here, and so we write that in both on both sides. We have log of x and log of x. But in this case, and again we have we have a right here and b right here, but this time instead of multiplying, we're dividing. So we do the same thing, we put a and b. But instead of adding, we subtract. And those are two very important properties of logarithms. This one is known as the quotient property. Quotient means it, quotient is the answer you get in division. Whereas this one up here where you expanded the multiplication, that is known as the product property. So this one where you're dividing is known as the quotient property, this one known as the product property, and there's one more property that we should probably talk about. So let's say again we have log of x, but this time let's say we have, instead of a times b, let's say we have a to the power of b. You can rewrite this equation by taking the b and putting it at the beginning of the, of the equation. So we have b log of x a. And that is another way to write it, and that is known as the power property. The power property. So you have the product property where you split them up and add. So if it's multiplication, you add. If it's division, you subtract. And if there's a power up here, you can move the power over to the beginning of the equation so that it's b log x of a. We'll, we'll use real numbers now. Let's say you have log of 5, and the numbers in front of it are 3 over 7. Again, there's two steps. 1, 2. You have log of 5 in both of them. Log of 5 in both of them. And since we are dividing, you subtract, dividing goes with subtract, on the one side you have the 3, and on the other side you have a 7. Now let's look at a little more complicated one. We have log of 8, 64x squared. So if you remember, you take the two things, we take the first part right here, the log of 8, we take that and we put it in both answers because we're going to split it up and expand it. So we put log of 8 over here and we put log of 8 over here. Now, right here, the 64 and the x squared, we are multiplying them. So whenever you multiply, you add. So we're splitting them up. We're going to add them by splitting them up. We're going to put the 64 over here and we're going to put the x squared over here. Now, the first on the left side over here, the 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 log, the, the log with the base of eight of sixty-four, we just basically have to solve it like we learned how to do in the original logarithm video. So we know that eight to some power equals sixty-four. So, and we know that the power that eight to the second power, eight times eight, we know that eight times eight is sixty-four. So that's the answer. So we take that two that we just got right here. And we put it back in the answer up here. So I'm just going to put 2 because the logarithm 8 of 64 actually equals 2. So we can put that in there. We're going to add this. And now we are going to use the power, the power uh, formula, if you remember, 
the power formula up here says that if you have a power, you can move the power to the beginning of the log. And so we're going to take this power right here, and we're going to move it to the, to the front of the log, so that now the log says 2 log of 8 x. And that, my friends, is your final answer. We have expanded this problem.